Hey, Sparky here from SparkyUOnline.com. Wanted to show you one of my uh, little cool tools for tracing out circuits. It's uh, from the Spurry Company, and I'll walk you through here real quick and show you how they work out. It's uh, they're they're pretty accurate, and it's something that you can do by yourself. You don't need any help. You don't have to have radios or um, anything uh, of that nature, or another person helping you out while you're hot checking and wanting to shut circuits off so um, we'll go on and plug this in and check this out okay basically all you gotta do is take and you, you plug that in and then you take the uh, that's the receiver and the transmitter and just stick that down there as you can tell it'll start beeping there's a little trigger on the end down here. And you just pull that trigger in, and now it's stopped beeping. Okay, it's found its circuit, release the trigger. Now we're going to walk back to the breaker panel, and we'll find that breaker and shut it off. Okay, now we're back at the breaker panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this up there, and it'll start beeping. And you find out which breaker it is. That's on the double pull, but I've got that off. So it must be uh, reading just the, the wires wrapped around the, the bottom end of that two-pole breaker here. But if I just go across the board, it'll hit a couple of them and start beeping. So I just start shutting them off one at a time. Okay, still on. So I'll try another one here. Let's try this one. Okay, now it's shut off. Okay, now let's go back to our uh, transmitter and see what that's doing. Okay, back at the transmitter, it has shown that it's been uh, shut off. So you always want to double check your wiring on the inside though. Um, just because this one particular circuit, there could be a, another circuit being fed through that box. So always use a voltage tester for any other wires that may be in there, one of those hot sticks just to uh, verify that everything is dead. But uh, there's another little uh, uh, part to this, we'll show you that to you next here. Okay, the next little part here is you take this out and you just unscrew this on out of there. Okay, I'll go ahead and unscrew that and then we'll plug the receiver into it and I'll show you what this does. Okay, so I plug it into the end of the receiver and we'll go out and screw it into a light fixture and uh, it'll basically do the same thing as plugging it into an outlet. A little dark out here, but we'll get it. There we go. Okay, so basically the same thing. Then you uh, take the transmit or the receiver end of it and put it up there like we did before and we can go back to the breaker panel shut it off and we're good to go and uh, this particular case here yeah you can see that the light bulb would be be shut off but uh, if this is the daylight or whatever um, you could trace it down that way okay now the next cool thing that you can do with this too is uh, let's say you've got an open J box right now I've just got got it tied to an extension cord Okay, but if you have an open J box and you get to your hot, your neutral, and your ground, then you can just go ahead and put your pigtails on there, and we'll screw the end of that uh, adapter into the receiver, transmitter, excuse me. We'll go into the transmitter, and then we'll be able to test it that way. Okay, and there you go. So if you're in J-Box or whatever, uh, you got a light fixture, trying to trace down a circuit, ceiling fans, whatever the case may be, uh, just take that pigtail adapter right there and uh, just like in the beginning of the video, take your transmitter and head on, or your receiver and head right on back to the breaker panel and trace it out, come back, find the dead circuit, shut the breaker off, and you're good to go. So, well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope that you find this useful.